So the Office 365 account works really well if I have to upload old Word documents or PowerPoints that have content in them that isn't so Google compatible. So in order to get my old content uh, into my 365 account, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head over to OneDrive. These are just the files that I have in OneDrive. You'll see some Word documents and some, some PowerPoint presentations that are there. Uh, I'm going to choose Upload. I'm going to upload a file. Now, if I had a, an entire folder full of PowerPoints and I didn't want to do them one at a time, I could upload the entire folder. In this case, I'm just going to upload a single file. And I'm going to go ahead and locate an old PowerPoint. So here is a old uh, PowerPoint that I had. I'm just going to open that up. I'll see that it actually uploaded. And the length of time that it takes to upload the PowerPoint just depends on the size of it. You know, usually is fairly quickly. And then from here, what I'm able to do is I can click on that. And it actually opens that PowerPoint up inside of PowerPoint Online. Now you're not going to see all of the same uh, features, all of the same editing tools, but uh, if I just simply wanted to use an old PowerPoint uh, in the new Google ecosystem just as a web page, I can see that I have all of my slides down here. Sharing is set up just a little bit different, so if this is just something I wanted to show to students, it would work just fine like this. I could start the slideshow here and then it works the same way with my uh, arrows the same way that it did before. So any transitions that I had would simply show up. If I wanted to share this presentation I could share it with individual people but I could also get a link and if I wanted to share this out via Google Classroom if I wanted to share this out with other colleagues, I would just simply get a link here. A couple things I need to change. I would say I want people to be able to view the link and not have to have a 365 account to do that. I also don't want this to expire. So they can view the link that I'm going to share. No expiration. No need to log in. So right here is actually going to be my uh, link that I'm going to copy. And then in order for me to see that this is going to work, what I like to do is go into incognito mode. And now you can't see this. My mouse actually went off the screen. But the triple dots in the upper right-hand corner of Chrome, and I actually get an incognito window. And then if I paste the URL in that window, and it works, I know that this link that I copied to my clipboard is going to work no matter who it is. So you can see that I'm actually not logged in right now. This is just a, a public web link. So that's a, a quick and easy way to upload your old PowerPoints and to get a link that you could then share out with others.